Today on BRS TV Investigates, we've got an update to our first XR30 G5 Blue video, where if you want to know what this latest LED lighting module from Ecotech Marine is all about, this video is for you. You won't find information this in-depth anywhere else, and this time our BRS review comes complete with real-world data back settings for you that you can use successfully on your tank. Hi, I'm Randy with this Friday's BRS TV Investigates, where we put popular reefing gear, theories, and methods to the test by experimenting on our own tanks so you don't have to experiment on yours. And today we use our new light testing format with over a thousand data points to create BRS recommended settings for this Ecotech Radeon XR30 Blue from proper mounting height all the way to suggestions for using one on an LPS tank or SPS dominated reef. Our goal for our BRS recommended light testing criteria is to find the answers to the most important questions reefers have when adding a new light to their tank, such as how high should I mount them, how many do I need, how do I space them properly, and what are the right settings for my tank type. Using this data, we're looking for easy to achieve plug and play results for anyone considering this light for their tank. Using our testing methods and data from our 60 gallon and 120 gallon test tanks, we'll develop answers to those important questions and provide you with BRS recommended settings that we would use on tanks similar to ours, or if your tank is slightly different, you can still use today's data coupled with some effective adjustments to dial one in for your specific system. By the time we're done today, you'll not only be armed with the information you need to decide if the Radeon XR30 Blue is for you and how to successfully implement it over your own tank, but we'll also give you our feedback and review of the Radeon G5 Blue's performance. In that spirit, before we even get started into the testing and data for the Radeon Blue, I think we can arm you with that first piece of info to help you decide whether the Radeon Blue is the right light for you, or if you might want to consider the Radeon XR30 Pro, and the answer to that question is simple. If you like a tank with more blue hue to it that has been synonymous with Ecotech's popular AB Plus Spectrum, go with the Radeon Blue. However, if you favor more of a white spectrum look to your tank, the Radeon Pro is the light for you. But you aren't making life-changing decisions here because either can be adjusted to a whiter or bluer tank. The benefit of the Radeon Blue is that every last LED was selected for max performance in that AB Plus spectrum, and because of that, it will end up being the most efficient. The Radeon Blue LED array is so well optimized to mimic that spectrum similar to Ecotech's original AB Plus that you can use 100% of each eight controllable channels, then adjust the overall point intensity up or down to hit your desired par range, which is where we're going to set them for the handful of today's tests. As we've done in previous light tests and following our standard light testing format, we start by finding our BRS recommended mounting height by mounting the light six inches above the water, taking a grid of par measurements, then raising the light one inch at a time and continue testing. We find that mounting height sweet spot when we've satisfactorily reduced the center hotspot directly under the light and more evenly spread the par to the outer edges, meaning that we don't want to see par numbers in the center that are lower than the outer edges, nor do we want to lose more than 15% of the overall par average from light spilling out of the tank. With the Radeon XR30 Blue mounted at six inches above the water, we see a center hotspot average of 829 and an average in the outer edges at 389, already showing a distribution performance that exceeded my expectations and outperforming other lights we've tested at such a low mounting height. At seven inches off the water, we reduced the hotspot by 152 par to 677 and gained 22 par in the outer edges to 411, again, showing very flat light distribution performance. Moving up to eight inches, the center improves to 584 and almost eliminating the hotspot and the improved distribution provides an outer edge average of 415, while at nine inches, there are now multiple points in the outer edges that are higher par than the points in the center, meaning that we're now losing efficiency and we've probably gone too far, which makes BRS recommended mounting height for the G5 XR30 Blue eight inches above the water for this two square foot area. 
Up next, we look at our second question to help you decide how many Radeon XR30 Blue modules you'll need, whether you need fewer lights to properly cover tanks full of lower light demand corals like LPS and softies, or whether your long-term dream is to have a tank full of large, mature SPS colonies that require more consideration into overcoming shadowing and shading as they grow from frags into large show tank quality pieces. With that, our BRS recommendation for ample coverage over an LPS tank type is going to be one fixture for this two square foot area like a 60 gallon cube or two G5 XR30 blue fixtures for a two foot by four foot tank like this 120 gallon test tank. To simplify that further, we would use one G5 blue for every 24 inches of tank. Our BRS recommendation for lighting an SPS dominated tank, we're talking about a tank that's already packed with full size mature SPS colonies that might struggle with shading within the colony branches and underneath established ones. Given the spread and distribution numbers we're about to show you, we'd recommend using three XR30 blue fixtures mounted perpendicular over our four foot tank example or mounting one every 16 to 18 inches of tank leg. Note that we're not recommending three fixtures just for the sake of par requirements, which you could easily do with two, but rather three fixtures is the end game recommendation for achieving a blanket of light across the entire tank that produces the most stunning SPS tanks. Next, we're gonna talk about properly spacing those multiple XR30 Blue Radions with a test that we developed where we evenly mount the lights over our four foot tank take a grid of PAR measurements, then spread the lights further apart from each other until we decrease the hotspot in between where the lights intersect in the tank, while at the same time improve the PAR distribution to more evenly cover the outer edges. Generally, we reach our testing endpoint when we've improved the PAR averages on the outside edges to within 75% of the PAR average in the center of the tank. For the first test and our LPS tank goals, we mounted two Radeon G5 Blues horizontally at 16 inches on center from left and right edges, where we can already see just by the PAR heat map that these lights are spaced too closely together with an average PAR on the edges coming in at only 54% of the average PAR in the center. We move the lights outward to 15 inches on center and see a slight improvement to the center hotspot, this time with the outer edges testing at 62%, edging us closer to the, our goal. Spacing the lights out again to 14 inches, we now see a far better spread across the 48 inch tank, yet still the outer edges are less than our goal, but now within 70% of the center, so we continue the test. Finally, when we push the lights out to 13 inches on center, we see the distribution performance we're looking for, where the average par in the edges are now within 81% of the center, meaning that this is the BRS recommended spacing for two XR30 Blues, and we can expect that there won't be substantial changes in par, whether we're placing our LPS corals in the center or near the far and left and right edges of this four foot tank. As for the same light spacing test using three XR30 blues mounted perpendicularly, we divided the tank evenly and mounted our lights at 12, 24, and 12 inches on center, where in this configuration, the outer edges reach only 63% of the center, with the majority of the light intersecting right in the center of the tank, and obviously spaced too closely together. This time, we only need to move the two outer lights closer to the edges of the tank, each by one inch, to 11, 24, and 11 inches on center, and we've made a significant improvement into the average par on the outer edges to 69%, yet there's still room for improvement towards our 75% goal. When we space the lights out by one more inch to 10, 24, and 10 inches on center, we hit that goal exactly with the average par on the edges now within 75% of the center, meaning that spacing three G5 XR30 Blues in this configuration is going to be our BRS recommendation on tanks similar to our four foot 120 gallon tank. Now that we have mounting height, number of fixtures, and spacing figured out, we start down a path to answer our fourth most important question reefers have after getting a new light, which is, what settings and intensity do I use for my tank? Because answering this question is really what all of this investigative testing is all about. Keeping that in mind, we're about to explore BRS recommendations for spectrum settings and where we'd recommend setting the LED colors, photo period, and how long we suggest running your lights during the day, and then what intensity we suggest setting your lights to during the peak hours of the day to achieve PAR goals for LPS lower light corals or SPS higher light demand corals. 
Let's get started by testing the available spectrum from the XR30 Blue where there are eight controllable color channels spanning 100 individual LEDs that Ecotech has optimized to create a similar spectrum to their popular AB+ that they've used in their own Coral Lab experiments over the past years. As I mentioned earlier in today's video, when we talk about the LED configuration being optimized for AB+, what we're talking about are the ability to turn all eight channels to 100% and then control the overall intensity or brightness up or down until we hit the par target that we're looking for. For me, this completely takes the guesswork out of flipping switches and hoping that I got the spectrum right. I'd even go as far as to say in creating a light like this where all I need to be focused on at home is renting a par meter and setting my overall intensity is the closest thing the plug and play that I could hope for from LED lighting manufacturers. I say all of that to say this about the Radeon G5 Blue, although we can control each color channel on its own, for today's spectrum testing, we're going to trust Ecotech's LED array and compare the spectrum they produce with all channels set to 100% and how that compares to the gold standard ATI Blue Plus T5 bulb, and then test how the G5 blends the spectrum all together by measuring it under a tank full of water with turbulent service agitation. Starting with the spectrum produced with all channels at 100%, this is pretty darn close to the Blue Plus T5 bulb spectrum, yet with more emphasis on the peaks in the 450 to 455 range, but overall a relatively wide offering. As for blending that spectrum together, the Radeon G5 Blue shows a much improved performance over previous Radeon generations without a diffuser, testing only subtle shifts across 10 testing points. Obviously, there is substantial improvements in the Radeon XR30 Blue with far less dramatic spectrum shifts that would only improve when coupled with the new G5 diffuser. All right, so we've got our spectrum settings, and what we would recommend for setting the colors of your Radeon blue lights, again, all colors at 100%, and next, we're going to dial in the PAR output of those settings over a 60 and 120 gallon test tank, but before we get to that, we'll first share the BRS recommended photo period for how long we suggest lighting your tank, and I'll say that this one is pretty standard for many of the BRS tanks around here. Using the combined knowledge and experience around the office, and across the 50 plus tanks we have running here. As a starting point, we recommend a nine hour peak photo period where the lights run at their highest intensity, coupled with a 30 minute ramp up and ramp down period. Of course, the time of day your lighting schedule starts can be changed as needed, our goal being that we want to enjoy as much of our tanks as possible, so we choose to light them when we're around the most, which for an office environment means that they're on during the normal working day. Here the Mobius template takes care of all of this for you with the AB plus template when setting up your Radeon Blue for the first time. First you choose your total photo period day including the sunrise and sunset which for our recommendation run time would be about a 10 hour total to account for the ramp up and ramp down. Choose the AB plus template that will default your lights to the BRS recommended spectrum settings during the peak of the day and then you're done. All that's left to do is get a PAR meter, adjust the overall point intensity during the middle of the day to your desired PAR goals, which we're about to share next so you don't have to. Getting started with our BRS recommended settings for LPS and lower light demand corals, our goal is to achieve 75 to 150 PAR throughout 70% or more of the entire tank from top to bottom, meaning that for this 60 gallon cube with a single Radeon XR30 Blue mounted at 8 inches, we're able to achieve that goal with an overall point intensity setting of 20%, where 88 out of 108 data points hit our target, making 81% of the entire tank from top to bottom optimized for a par range of 75 to 150. Applying those same principles to our 120 gallon tank with two fixtures, again we set the midday point intensity to 20%, where we find 158 out of 198 points, or 80% of the tank, in our same LPS goal. With this setting, it's still a little on the hot side in the upper parts of the tank, but down in the middle and near the bottom of the tank, both of those levels hover around 95% of points in that target par range. Up next we have our BRS recommended settings and intensities for SPS dominated tanks where again we're looking for 70% or more of the entire tank within our SPS goal of 200 to 350. Kicking off our BRS recommended SPS settings on this 60 gallon cube, we set our midday overall point intensity to 60% where we tested 76 out of 108 testing points or exactly 70% of the entire tank within that 250 par range for this two foot cube. 
cube, with the majority of those points in the middle and upper parts of the tank where most reefers typically mount their SPS. Looking at the same criteria on our 120 gallon tank, we mounted three Radeon Blues at our BRS recommended height and spacing, and then chose an overall point intensity setting of 35% in order to achieve 145 out of 198, or 73% of this entire tank within our SPS target goal range. With these BRS recommended settings, most of you can get really close to your specific tank's lighting sweet spot, even for those of you with slightly different sized tanks who can use Use this data to make more educated adjustments and confirm by renting or buying a PAR meter. Alright, so what are some of my personal thoughts on today's performance of the Radeon Gen 5 XR30 Blue? First and foremost, if it's any indication of how impressed I was with this new light form and function, I'm putting all of our BRS recommendations to the test on my own 60 gallon tank in this office and installing a 30 blue over it, which for sure will be chock full of sticks and hopefully large mature SPS colonies. Outside of that, I can't be more happy with the Mobius control platform coming from someone who's set up dozens of Radeons in the past. I think it's great that Ecotech had us reefers in mind when they created the G5 Blue, where I already know that I personally enjoy the bluer look of the AB Plus Spectrum, and now I can connect to my light, choose my photo period, adjust the peak intensity, and my lights are done. Minus a few extra short steps, this is as close to plug and play that I could have hoped for, and I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say after you get your hands on them. Understandably, not everyone will choose the blue hue of the AB Plus using the Radeon XR30 Blue, which can be adjusted down, but there is a pro option for the same cost and very similar performance, which we provide our BRS recommended settings for and show you how to set up in this playlist right over here.